the good guys, that these companies weren't actually companies, that they were on our side against the corporate world. Right. And it turns out, I think we've just hit this moment. You mentioned Zuckerberg. We, I think we've culturally come to this moment now where, you know, I think symbolized by his testimony at Congress, that uh, those that, that, that honeymoon period is over. People now view him, I think, quite firmly and squarely as a CEO of a very rich company, as yes. opposed to a, a guy in my club that I'm friends with who's on my side against the world, you know? And, and that's yeah. how, you know, remember Google used to have that slogan, don't do evil? Yeah, well, don't do evil, yeah. Don't but, we, well, they, presumably they still have it. But, <laughs> no, yes, but like, the, I mean, the problem is the, the incentives are all wrong. And yeah. I mean, so actually I was just at TED and well, to give you a sense of how far the rot has spread here. So I, was, I found myself at a dinner sitting next to a, a, a neuroscientist who thought that, it was, and this Ezra Klein thing followed me around to TED, and so I, because many people had listened to the podcast, and he thought Charles Murray should have been physically attacked at Middlebury. This is a neuro, this is a neuroscientist, <laughs> academic, wow. you know, what, you know, like a, a, a impeccable person. Otherwise, I mean, I think he was after we wound up having a fight at a, a dinner over it. I think he was somewhat chagrined by having expressed that opinion. But I mean, that's how how emotionally hijacked people are by Jeez. this issue. And, uh, but it's a, um, that's incredible. I mean, it was just, yeah, it was the, it was, the, other, that's the other thing that's new. Wow. This is the other thing that's new. The left advocating for violence. violence. This yeah. is yeah. very new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always felt like the, the left yeah. was, uh, nonviolent, the, the, the whole idea behind being progressive, like nonviolence was, was a genuine aspect of that. And free speech. Was, yeah. Was two things. Two yes. Those are two yeah. things that have been sort of stopped. Yeah. That this free speech is fine as long as you're not saying speech that I disagree with. And nonviolence, sure, unless we need to use violence. Which is like, and the people that are saying it, like if you, you watch these Antifa people, like Jesus Christ, the most incompetent, violent people you've ever seen yeah. in your life. Yeah, like, right. it, like, offends, <laughs> it offends your uh, sensibilities as an MMA guy. a person guy, yeah. who's an expert yeah. in yeah. violence, this is yeah. fucking, yeah. you guys are terrible at it. There's yeah. videos of these guys practicing. There's right. videos of Antifa. They had they got together and decided to train and prepare for violence. And so oh, they're man. doing these martial <laughs> arts classes. And they have people teach them like, holy shit. Like uh, the average high school kid could fuck you guys up. Like this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Right. But it's almost like they're, they realize that there is not that much danger in what they're doing. And they can kind of play with danger. Yeah. They can play with violence. They can put the masks on. They're, they, you know, they're not in Israel. They're, they're cowards, not at the Gaza yeah. Strip. Joe, they're a bunch of cowards. Yes. There's a guy There's a guy who went to my old university. I graduated from SOAS before I did my master's at the LSE. SOAS has been embroiled in a strike at the moment. As the students' union has been supporting uh, professors who are on strike. And it's over pension and pension rights and a, a refused government refusing to raise their pension rights and whatever. And some of the students came out in strike, far left students, defending uh, the professors. And they put a, they put forward a ring preventing students from attending uh, their classes. And, and, and a... A, a female black lecturer wanted to cross the strike lines to go in to teach her students. A white male, uh, public school educated, very, very middle class protester, far left, physically attacked her. He physically attacked a female black professor. So gone is suddenly gone is the white privilege. Gone is the male attacking a female, mm. you know. Gone is all of that. Gone is nonviolence. All the above. In the name of ideology, he uh, uh, legitimized and allowed himself to uh, attack a black female. By the way, oh, and she was also Muslim. So she went, she went to the press. <laughs> well, like, it's hilarious. Right. I would have she thought went, she would have had the right spell. She, went to the press. she oh, actually God. said that in her interview. She said, I'm a black Muslim female. And this white oh kid has just attacked God. me for no. wanting to teach my class. Wow. This is crazy. This is cra this is a crazy world we're in, man. This is 